Detroit takes an industry that is essentially segregated and integrates it in the World War II era. They have to, they need the workers. The Arsenal Democracy Project was funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities and made it possible for us to digitize newspapers from southeastern Michigan that told the story of Detroit and southeastern Michigan during World War II. The Biden transition team was looking for examples uh, through several national organizations of how the humanities have been used to advance uh, the, the agenda of equality. We were able to present to the administration, to the administration's representatives, the example of Arsenal democracy. During World War II, Detroit was commonly called the Arsenal democracy. That was because so much of the war production for the World War II American war effort came from the city of Detroit. The social changes are probably even more important in the long run for our understanding of modern America. As we looked at Detroit during World War II, we were interested in a wide variety of perspectives. And one of the most important was to get a sense of what the black community was thinking. Fortunately for us, in 1936, a weekly newspaper published by a black editor for the black community, the Michigan Chronicle, had been founded, and we were able to digitize that paper. It's the value of the individual voice, and I'm, it's something that I, I, myself, as an individual, am very proud of, and I don't want my voice silenced in any way, and I appreciate that freedom that I have in America. And so reading different newspapers and different stories, most news always starts off written. So when you read a newspaper, you get in the whole story of the person's individual voice and stories. And Frank tried to get different newspapers that able to give you a different look at that time and a different angle. By putting this information online in a searchable format, we made it available to millions and millions of people. We were able to document what happened in Detroit, how quality came about, and we were able to document how that happened at CMU how Central Michigan University, how the Clark Historical Library played a really central role in telling that story locally throughout the state and throughout the nation.